This is the best week of the season for the Cleveland Browns. Why? It's their bye week. Hey, that really sucks. Is there truly a more pathetic franchise than the Cleveland Browns? A culmination of years upon years upon years of bad trades, drafting, and management decisions is finally upon them. They have a chance for dubious immortality at 0-16, tying the 2008 Detroit Lions for gross incompetence on the football field. If you follow NFL football, they need no introduction. If not, here's a brief dossier of what happened to their franchise in the mid-1990s. We have a signed contract in hand. The Browns are indeed coming to Baltimore. Frankly, it came down to a simple proposition. I had no choice. Yeah, this team had been shit on by the football gods enough back then. What with the title drought, the fumble, the river fire, the drive, and the glorious tenure of one Andre Risen. So there were several years of football dormancy in Cleveland after being completely buttfucked by Art Modell. Little would they know that this would be their golden age. I want to send a message! A message to everyone who ever made fun of Cleveland! A message to anyone who ever told a Cleveland joke or laughed at a Cleveland joke. You can now officially shut up! I mean, they got their franchise back. Drew Carey was on the field pumping up the dog pound. They got their quarterback of the future in Tim Couch. Truly, they would be on their way to returning to football relevance. And then they get shit stomped in their home opener by the Steelers. Great start. But it's just one game, and they're a new franchise. That was a fluke. And then Dwayne Rudd decides to forget he's on a football field and allows the Chiefs to kick the game-winning field goal at the end of regulation. But it's only one season. The football gods can't shit on them every single year. Oh boy, were we all wrong. Bottlegate. Gross incompetence by NFL officials. First round pick decides to be a fucking idiot. Crashes motorcycle in parking lot. First round pick decides to be a fucking idiot. Gets into numerous confrontations with the law. First round pick decides to be Johnny Football. An insult to the term fucking idiot. I hate the Browns so goddamn much! Staff Infections! More Staff Infections! The Staff Infection known as Johnny Football! Sign the top center of the free agent class, who suffers a career-ending injury on the first play of training camp! And he... also... got a Staff Infection. You are a factory of sadness! Signing perennial underachiever Dwayne Bowe for $9 million to make five catches. Five. A revolving carousel of head coaches, general managers, and quarterbacks. Our chief. Oh, wait, he re-injured himself walking to the podium. Never mind. And that's just some of the more egregious stuff from the revived Browns. Let's not even get into the draft. Let's draft a quarterback and let him get completely pummeled and destroy his confidence. Make him so forgettable that fans cheer him being injured. Let's draft the big name defensive end. We will be incredibly shocked when he's nowhere near as good as advertised. A defensive tackle that perfectly epitomizes the Browns. Zero fucks given. Let's draft a running back. We have no other holes on this team. Lineman from Notre Dame? We can't lose! Yeah, you give a hell. I don't give a damn. He did the same thing to me. It's war. They will kill you. They're out there to kill you. So I'm gonna kill them. You, you write that in the paper. You write that. Big game wide receiver? Yes, please! Only one teensy little problem. He's not exactly the greatest teammate. And he can't really catch. Linebacker! And he doesn't suck! Let's trade him! Joe Thomas! And let's trade next year's first for another quarterback! Now I'm done. Yes, you are, Brady. You were done the moment you put on a Browns jersey. One of the best first-round picks Cleveland has ever made! 
No one. <laughs> Congratulations! You have two fifths of a good offensive line. Here's a truly elite cornerback. Let's waste his career. It's almost as if we know what we're doing now. And the football gods took a gigantic shit on him. Trent fucking Richardson. It is truly a sight to behold. Like a horrific car crash. And for good measure, let's draft a 28-year-old quarterback in the first round. That won't backfire at all. An underachieving linebacker. Let's trade him for scraps. Two radioactive cancers for the price of one? Sold! They have major maturity issues and may not actually care about football? Who cares? We've got Johnny fucking football. What's that? We spent six figures on an analysis of the best quarterback in the draft, and they said it was Teddy Bridgewater. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> the human turnstile known as Cam Irving and Danny Shelton with the magical power to instantly disappear. This team has been managed by locales. Some of the players have been colossal locales, and they make knee-jerk decisions which are usually made by locales. They are, as a collective, a gigantic locale. Even when they try to cheat, they are unbelievably incompetent. This team is where players and coaches go to die. The city has become so radioactive to football players and coaches, you would think you were in Chernobyl. And the sad part is, I don't believe this is ending soon. Why? This man. The lolcow version of Jerry Jones. Say what you will about Jerry, the man helped to build a dynasty in the 1990s. What has Haslam accomplished? Scandals and corruption. He wanted to go in guns a blazing and change everything. And he did. Nearly every single year. The man has been through more head coaches in his tenure than the Pittsburgh Steelers have had in almost 50 years. Hey, maybe I'll be wrong and we can look back on this video as an archive of what was. Honestly, I want them to start winning. It's about time we look at the Browns as more than a recurring punchline. That their once incredible rivalries with the Steelers and Bengals can actually be competitive again. And create another massive rivalry with the Baltimore Ravens. I think a well-run Browns franchise would be great for football. If Donald Trump can become president, then even Cleveland can be a good football team. Or the football gods will continue to use them and the factory of sadness as their personal toilets.